and welcome. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. As we said, a merry heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. And so this week, as we continue to cover on laughter, I encourage you to have a merry heart because it is good medicine. And I was thinking today because the inspiration to start this podcast came in the month of May as we uh, started looking down on the pandemic and how it has impacted the people. And it started in March when the people were, we were locked in and I started seeing the impact of the pandemic. It's not just about dealing with the COVID-19, but the, the, the pandemic has impacted people differently. Uh, it's either loss of a job, uh, loss of a loved one, uh, the isolation and all that. And it has gone on and on. We are now in the month of December and we thank God for the vaccine vaccine and everything else that is going on. And I pray that as we continue with this daily insight, that we continue to draw strength from the word of God to keep on serving the purposes of God in our generation day by day knowing that our lives are in the hands of the Lord and so today I want to talk about when God loves because God loves and there's one famous joke we make in the house with my husband because sometimes we we plan and we say we're gonna do this we're gonna do that but sometimes those plans do not come to pass and we always joke and say you know man plans god loves and it's a saying that is common when you plan and it doesn't materializes because of things that are not that are not in your power to control Uh, We live in New England and right now we are having a snow day. And I remember there are times when snow days used to be fun. We would wait with my kids at the phone when we knew that it's going to snow tomorrow. We would wait for the school district to call and declare a snow day knowing that we are not going to go to school. It's going to be a free day without going to school. But yesterday when that call came that it's in in our school district, it's going to be a snow day, there was no joy because it's one of those days that one of my kids gets to not do remote learning and go to school. And it's no longer fun when they have to just stay at home and not go to school. And then to make it worse, our school district decided it's not even going to be a remote learning day. So they're not even going to be seeing their fellow classmates through the screen it's gonna be a free snow day no remote learning no no school nothing and then stay in what have we been doing all year staying in see the change and the impacts of the pandemic it's not just about covid there are so many things that have been impacted and so many lives have been impacted. I know you also have your own challenges. And so when we talk about the laughter uh, I am going to address today, uh, this is just food for thought, the laughter of God. I was looking at this and I realized that when God laughs, it's not because he's happy. I would rather he smile because when he's smiling, maybe he's pleased with us. But when he laughs, it is mocking. When he laughs, it is a laughter of judgment. Among the verses that I found out, mostly when he laughs, it is a laughter of judgment. In Psalms chapter 2, verse 1 to 4, the Bible says, Why are the nations so angry? Why do they waste their time with futile plans? The kings of the earth prepare for battle. The rulers plot together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Let us break their chains, they cry, and free ourselves from the slavery of God. But the one who rules in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. So we see this is the Psalm of David having a glimpse of what is happening when the rulers of the world, the kings are plotting and planning for battle to wage war against people, one nation against another. And all those plans, they are wasting time because the one who rules in heaven, the one who sits in heaven, 
God himself. He looks down at the, at the futility of those plants and he laughs. He scoffs at them. And you can imagine, like I was trying to imagine at God laughing. And this scenario came to mind. I remember when we were really young and my elder brother I used to be afraid so much of the thunder and the, you know, thunders and lightning. And when it rained or there was a thunderstorm, I would really cleave and hold my brother's hand and want to go under, under something, under the bed, under the chair or something. And my brother found a way to make me not fear. So he gave me this story. Oh, my brother, the things he, my brother Patrick used to do to me. <laughs> so my brother gave me this story. You know, he told me, you know what? When you hear that thunderstorm, it is God fighting with his wife, with his wives. He has gotten so angry and he has drums of water, you know, big drums of water. And so now that God is angry, he is kicking those drums of water and rolling them in, 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 the, in his floor. The heaven, the sky is his floor and he's rolling them down. And as they are rolling, that is where the thunder is coming from. And when they roll, because he's angry the water falls and so don't be ang- don't be don't be fearful because it's just god fighting with his eyes there it's in heaven it's not going to get you here so and through that story i don't know where his imagination came from i stopped fearing thunder <laughs> so now i was trying to imagine god laughing and this is a laughter of judgment when he sees the nations, the kings of the world plotting and those futile plans. He is angry, but his anger is, is preceded with laughter. And then Psalms 59 verse 6 to 8, the Bible says, they come out at night snarling like vicious dogs as they plow the street. Listen to the filth that comes from their mouth. Their words cut like swords. After all, who can hear us? You see, those, they, they, they sneer. They come out at night. These are people who are plotting evil. And they, they come out at night. And now listen to the filth that comes out of their mouth. As they speak, their words cut like swords. And as they speak, they think that oh, after all, who can hear us? And they sneer. They sneer. They think not no one can hear them but the bible says but lord you laugh at them you scoff at all the hostile nations as they do all that wickedness as they think they are hiding lord you laugh at them so i was seeing this scenario and i'm like oh when god laughs it's not because he's happy this is a laughter of judgment And then Psalms 37 verse 12 to 13 says, The wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance. But the Lord just laughs. For he sees their day of judgment is coming. So now here again, the wicked plot against the godly. And they snarl at them at, def- at, at, at them in defiance. But what is the Lord doing? He is laughing. And why is he laughing? He is laughing because he knows their end is just about to come. The judgment is coming. So when he is laughing at them, he is laughing at their ignorance. He is laughing because they, he sees they do not understand that power is in my hands. They got no power. If I just snuff out the air they breathe, they are gone. They are done. So he laughs at them and then in conclusion proverbs 1 24 uh, verse up to 26 says i called you so often but you wouldn't come i reached out to you but you paid no attention you ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered you. So now coming down to you particularly. So before the Lord laughs at you, sometimes the Lord calls out to you. He calls you often, uh, but you wouldn't come. Uh, he, he reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. And then this is a scary part. So I will laugh when you are in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. I read this and I said, no, 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 no. I don't want to be one of those people that God laughs at. 
no 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 i don't want to hear god laughing because he called me often and i wouldn't come he reached out but i paid no attention he advised me and i ignored and rejected correction no i don't want to be in trouble and then when i call he laughs no i want to be when i'm in trouble he reaches out and rescues me because i'm in trouble but i'm with him I don't want to be mocked when disaster overtakes me because I I I am in this I'm in disaster because of my own disobedience no way when God laughs let it not be because you are wicked you are one of those people planning all these things that make him laugh no let when God laugh let him laugh because he's planning to fight your battles in the name of Jesus. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight and this is Laughter Day 4. Shalom.